Is for those of you who have uh, been anxiously awaiting this, uh, I don't know if it's for me to make a fool of myself or you really want to know my secrets. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I, I will say this when your mind's in a creative mode, and well, you had a little bit of this, which, well, you should never, ever, ever do this, ever, ever, because, well, it turns into a very empty bottle, emptyish bottle. I repeat, you should never do this while watching the Quiet Man movie. Yes, one of my favorites, and uh, well, a blockbuster of its day. Anyway, while watching said movie, and drinking well. Obviously, uh, had a brainstorm, and uh, well, it was, yeah, it was quite the brainstorm. I love the Quiet Man movie. Uh, one of my first four or five videos I did a review on the Quiet Man. Um, go back and check that out if you like. Uh, the video quality is a little poor, and uh, I don't think things have got much better since then. However. I have learned some things. I've learned a lot from the YTPC. And, uh, you know, I noticed there's guys out there making their own blends, so I thought, why couldn't you? And, well, I did. And I, I based these four blends on the Quiet Man. Basically, this is an experiment. Don't hold me to any of this. Um, uh, I, I just, I don't know why. I had too much time on my hands. Plus, I just mixed some Yellowstone. Um, 1883, and I gave, gave myself a, well, I gave a shot of mixing some Shelby Foot Breakfast. Both blends, which I, I will say I like. Uh, Yellowstone is not my blend. The Shelby Foot Breakfast, maybe there's somebody made that already. I don't know. But I call it Shelby Foot Breakfast, and I enjoyed it. So I did this. Yeah. This before you. No, no not this. This, this is... This is plastic, probably made in China. I got it at Dollar Tree. Don't tell them that, because I'm a very angry bird. Anyway, on with the tobacco mixing and blending and concoctions. Uh, the first one is called Innisfree. 
And if you've watched The Quiet Man, that's the fictional town uh, that, the, that, the, that the movie's set in. And, and don't get it, don't get it uh, confused with uh, Lake of the Lake of the Isle of Innisfree in the uh, I think it's Lou Silo area on the border of the county Silo and Littrum. I think I got all that right, but I probably didn't. So, you know, do the research yourself because I'm already helping out with these fine blends. Anyway, the Innisfree, uh, I don't know, I, I'm telling you, I know nothing here. And this is not the proper way to do this, but I threw caution to the wind. And, well, I, uh, yeah, uh, I mixed in some, well, uh, Apple crumble, some Captain Black gold because it reminded me of, well, golden potatoes. And uh, the apple crumble, uh, Irish apple is a pretty cool thing uh, from what I've done some research on. And uh, I'm not going to lie, but I put a little bit of Quiet Man in it. Yeah, it drizzled a little bit. Of, and I'm not going to lie, maybe a little bit by the looks of this bottle too much. But I'm smoking the Innisfree right now, and I'm going to say this. It's it's my favorite one of all the blends that I made. It might be the only one that I possibly got close to right. I don't know, but it's, it's very sweet. You get the liquor taste, obviously. And I did not overdo the liquor, I don't think. <laughs> There's just some way of a... It gives a good, gives a good jar note, and it gives a, a good sweet taste along with the, uh, well... I think the Captain Black really stands out in it as well. The Apple Crumble, as many of you know, many of you have tried the Aaron Go Bra stuff. That's kind of why I used it because, well, it pretty much sucks as a tobacco and I'm cheap. So I thought, why not throw it with something else and maybe we'll get some satisfaction out of it. On to the second blend. Should have been ladies first, but it wasn't. Uh, Maureen O'Hara played... Mary Kate Donahue in the movie, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and well, in her blend, I uh, I did the the Aaron Go Bra uh, Irish Cream mixed with some Black Arrow. Why the Black Arrow? Well, I thought the Black Arrow gave a really good flavor in the Yellowstone 1883. It smelled really good, and it's a little moist. And I get nothing out of it. No, I've smoked it. I get a little bit of the Irish cream out of it. The Black Arrow really stands out, but I might as well be smoking. I don't know. It's a lot of nothingness. A lot of nothingness. I was hoping to capture, well, Maureen O'Hara's uh, essence. And yeah, I thoroughly failed at that. So, <laughs> moving on to the next one. We, we're probably going to experiment with that one. I would like to do all four of these blends and keep them, but maybe I'm going to have to just go with the Innisfree. And, well, my uh, my second favorite, the Tuber Thorn. This one came out pretty good, I think. This one came out pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I like it. Uh, when you open the jar up, if I can get it open, there we go. Uh, it's Edward G. Robinson blend on steroids, I think, honestly. And it is Peterson Early Morning Pipe. With well, Captain Black original, and uh, it's come out pretty good. It's uh, I smoke it in the morning a lot with my tea. Uh, it's got the really leathery smell, a little nutty, and uh, <laughs> like me and well that guy. And um, it, it's my second favorite blend that I mixed out of this, and the final blend that I'm happy with. I'm going to keep that. And I call it Trooper Thorn because John Wayne's character in the movie was uh, Sean Thornton. And, uh, well, he played a boxer that killed a man in the ring. And, oh, spoiler alert! And, uh, yeah, and he leaves Pittsburgh, moves to back to Ireland, and falls in love with Maureen O'Hara. And there's a whole Donnybrook from there on out. It truly is. you got to check The Quiet Man out if you haven't seen it. And now, last but not least, 
I don't know, this might be least. This is the one I'm really disappointed in because my favorite character in the Quiet Man movie is played by, well, none other than Barry Fitzgerald, and his name is, I believe it's Michaelin, Michaelin, Oog, Oog, I'm, I'm not sure how they pronounce it with the slash on the O, Flynn. So I've called this blend M.O. Flynn, and I was really hoping this would be the blend that hit. Uh, maybe I should have quiet man this. I don't know. Maybe I should have put some of the some of the hooch in this. But yeah, this is basically uh, Aaron Gobra Irish whiskey. Once again, a little more Black Arrow. Why? Because I had a lot left over from mixing up the Yellowstone 1883, and it smelled really good. And I get the Black Arrow smell. I'm just going to say this. Aaron Go Bro, your, your tobacco sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry if anybody else out there likes that, but me and this guy here, not fans. But the M.O. Flynn really has no room note other than the Black Arrow. And it really, well, it has no purpose in this whole video or in my blends. So I'm going to say that I really, I'm kind of proud of myself of the industry. I really, truly like the industry. Um, the Trooper Thorn, I really do like. Maybe not as much as the Innisfree, but the Trooper Thorn, I love for the mornings. It's been a very good uh, morning blend for me. Uh, it's just got that Edward G on steroids thing. And a little bit of the, well, a little bit of the sweetness, like, you know, uh, just say we added some Jean Harlow to it, some Jean Harlow to it. I don't know if she was sweet or not, but, wow. <laughs> When you look like Gene, I don't think you need to be sweet. I'm not sure anyway. All right. I know this video was supposed to be out yesterday, so we'll clear some things up. I've been working a bunch up at my daughter's last weekend, and we're going there. They're leaving, well, tomorrow's Friday, and we're going there Friday. I'll be up there all weekend. So I'm having a heck of a time. We're, we're doing a lot of... They're doing a lot of work up there. They got some property and they're trying to get well started on building the house and we've done some excavating and some other stuff. So um, this weekend is going to be pretty much shot. I will say this on a, a higher, uh, brighter note. Um, I'm going to do my best in the next week and a half to catch up on videos. If I'm not answering comments and stuff, it's not because I don't see them and I'm not, I'm just, I'm busy right now. And, uh, We've had some doctor stuff going on and got some more nerve damage news. And uh, it's just been busy and crazy. So I will say this, however, bear with me. Um, why? Well, because hopefully I'm in the works, hopefully with uh, my buddy Saw Gunner, and we're going to do something maybe special. Um, and... This guy's going to be joining me because I believe it's Halloween season kickoff, and it's one of my favorite holidays, if not the most favorite. And I've got some stuff coming up on that. But after this weekend, we're going to go towards, well, old man things in Mike's area, but still too far away to meet up, and we've talked, and dang it, Mike, I wish I could have got with you on this deal. But we're going up to Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin, and we're going to see some fall colors, hopefully, and do a little touring of the town, and, uh, and, uh, Hopefully just have a little bit of a mini vacation because it's been nuts lately. Wow, a bird just ran into my window. It happens a lot. I don't know what the deal is about it, but it happens a lot. So anyway, with that being said, and uh, the bird that has a knot on his head, holy moly, I got to get out of here now. Tip of the haberdashery, Vigenas Luego. Don't forget to shake them jars, though I don't think that's going to help the M.O. Flynn or the uh, Mary Kate Donna here uh, blends of tobacco. Or the Aaron Go Bra, for that matter. Yeah. Anyway, don't drink and watch The Quiet Man. <laughs>